The submarine going to the Titanic had ruptured at a depth of 4,000 meters in the ocean, but the snailfish is a marine creature that remains unaffected even at a depth of 8,300 meters. It is naturally considered the world's toughest creature, whether you pile weapons on it, run heavy trucks over it, or even if a locomotive were to be placed on top of it, its body would remain unharmed. But the question is, what's so special inside it? Viewers, if you travel 350 kilometers southwest from Guam Island in the Pacific Ocean, you will reach the area of the ocean that houses the deepest point of the ocean. This point is also known as the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench on the ocean floor is a huge curved dent, resembling the shape of the moon, with a length of 2,550 kilometers and a width of 69 kilometers. This dent causes this part of the ocean to suddenly become very deep. To get an idea of this trench, it can also be viewed on Google Earth. In this trench, the deepest point of our world, the Challenger Deep, is located 11033 meters or 36,200 feet below the ocean waves. This depth is the least explored in the ocean, known as the Hadal Zone. Its name was derived from the Greek underworld god Hades. The dangerous darkness, lack of food, and bone-crushing pressure in this depth clearly indicate that it is nearly impossible for creatures to survive here. Initially, it was thought that humans could never reach the Hadal Zone, but an event in the 19th century changed this concept forever. In 1875, the HMS Challenger, a ship at sea, set out to find the ocean's deepest point. At one point, they threw a weighted rope into the ocean and noticed that their rope kept going down, but the deepest point was not yet reached. Eventually, their rope was too short, and they couldn't reach the bottom. This had never happened before, where their rope ended before reaching the ocean floor. This news astonished all ocean explorers around the world. It was not enough to just know that the Mariana Trench was the deepest point of the ocean. Many attempts were made to reach it but this depth did not allow anyone to come close. 85 years after the discovery of the Challenger Deep in 1960, two people, Jacques Picard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh, dared to reach it. They achieved this feat in a submersible named Trieste. Their five-hour journey was full of challenges. The water pressure at this depth is about 1,000 times greater than at sea level. During their journey, the glass of the submarine's window cracked. Because of this, they could only spend 20 minutes at Challenger Deep and then had to return to the surface. Although they only spent a little time there, what they saw amazed the scientific community. Life. Yes, at 11000 meters below the sea level, they were surprised to see a species of living fish. Let me tell you here that Challenger Deep is so deep that if Mount Everest were placed there, its peak would still be 2 kilometers below sea level. The water pressure here is about 16000 psi. That means the weight exerted on an area of just 1 square inch is equivalent to 7,250 kilograms. Due to the lack of time, they had to immediately leave the Challenger Deep. But this trip left a big mystery for ocean explorers and biologists. How is life possible in the Hadal Zone, where there is no oxygen, no sunlight? Researching at this depth of the sea is an impossible task. That's why in 1996, Japan prepared a robotic submersible named Kaiko. This mission was called the Kaiko Mission, in which this submersible was sent to the Challenger Deep to collect samples and return. Kaiko collected some samples from the ocean floor. When these were tested, it was found that the bottom of the sea is full of strange kinds of bacteria, types that had never been seen before. Lab tests revealed that these bacteria belong to a very strange type that can survive under high pressure. Normally on land, plants produce energy through photosynthesis, that is, using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. But in the depths of the sea, if life is possible without sunlight, it's because of these bacteria. The bacteria perform a chemical process to absorb carbon dioxide and minerals from rocks to produce energy and oxygen. This process is called chemosynthesis. 
It has been noticed that the energy produced by these bacteria becomes the main source of energy for other creatures present at these depths of the sea. This evidence has proven that life is indeed possible in the Hadal zone. Interestingly, the deepest living fish in the Mariana Trench is a snailfish. Because it lives in the Hadal zone, it is also called the Hadal snailfish. This fish, about 12 inches long and 3 inches thick, withstands a pressure on its body that is hard to believe. The area of this fish's body is about 25 square inches, and the pressure at this depth is 1-6-0-0-0 psi. This means that, according to calculations, the Hadal snailfish withstands a weight of about 170,000 kilograms on its entire body at all times. Yes, for reference, let me tell you that the empty weight of a Boeing 777 is 168,000 kilograms, and the average weight of a locomotive is 150,000 kilograms. It's nothing short of a miracle that such a small fish can withstand such a huge weight. But unfortunately, the scientific community has not yet been able to fully understand why. Actually, doing research there is not possible, and if snailfish or other deep sea creatures are brought out of the sea, they die due to the lack of pressure. A few scientific research studies have found that the fish that live on the surface have a swim bladder. This swim bladder is filled with air, which prevents them from going too deep, but deep sea creatures do not have this swim bladder. That's why they can easily go to the depths. Moreover, a recent discovery has found that all marine creatures have an organic molecule called piezolites. This molecule protects membranes and proteins from being crushed. Scientists have found a very large amount of piezolites in snailfish, but so far, it has not been possible to find out how these piezolites protect proteins and membranes from being crushed. This can only be known when some technology is invented that can go to the Challenger Deep and research living fish.